Speaking of Carl Banks, Cratch, are you coming down uh, with Carl Banks to do their tailgate party at uh, Xfinity Live here in Philly? No, no, I, I will not be there. There's a place across from uh, Lincoln Financial Field mm-hmm. where it's like an indoor or whatever. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's the, the VIP travel package for Big Blue Travel includes like a, an indoor tailgate at um, Xfinity Live. Craig, you can go to that next picture there. Yeah, this one here. So first of all, it's $995 per person, which is crazy, but you get to, you go to, so they go staying at the Marriott. Then you go to old from old city to Xfinity live. And there's a pregame indoor tailgate party extravaganza, uh, includes a four hour premium open bar and tailgate menu. So like diverging thoughts here, first of all, putting like a organized giants group in with a bunch of Eagles fans at Xfinity live is like a disaster waiting to happen. Hopefully they have extra security on hand. But the other thing is like people saying like, well, why would Xfinity like do this? Um, well, number one, like uh, their their money is just as green as anybody else's. Yeah, I was but, say. yeah. But I also discovered too that Xfinity Live isn't completely owned by Comcast. So I didn't even know they were owned by Comcast at all. I thought they just had the title sponsor. Where who who owns them? Well, so it was built by the Cordish companies, which okay. is like they they build like all of these like. Um, you know, fancy fan uh, places outside of arenas. Like, I think they, I want to say they did that like district in, uh, in Baltimore, like, like where power plant, power plant Rams had all that shit, I think is down there. Right. So like the Cordish companies are a part owner actually of, uh, this is what I found. Xfinity live is a joint partnership between the Philadelphia based Comcast Spectacore and Baltimore based the Cordish companies. So they don't give a shit about there's no there's no like, well, why is a Philly company taking money from Giants fans or something like that? So I don't I don't think there's a violation. You know, they would probably take, you know, cowboy fan money. They would probably take Putin's money. They would take anybody's money if it's it's all the same color. So, so, So Crash, to expand on it, there's like four different bars in yeah. Xfinity Live. There's like a, a PBR bar. There's an 1100 Social. There's a, a Victory Beer Garden. And there's another one I forget off the top of my head. So there's this Eagles fan group who's doing it on one side of the uh, of Xfinity Live. And then obviously they have the Giants fan group on the other side of the Xfinity Live. I feel like, and, and this is the Green Legion. These guys are kind of like, not rough around the edges, but I would say if like there was a brawl, I would probably pick. We have so many Eagles um ticket packaging travel extravaganza kind of uh kind of things here in philadelphia that we have like three or four if i had to pick one this would be the one i I, i've I've hung out with these guys before they got some interesting characters that come in so what are they going to do just be eyeballing each other from across the room the for the next four hours it really (laughs) sounds like the worst idea in the history of mankind i like if i were a giant sandwich i'm I'm not but like if i wanted to go to the game i i wouldn't want to do that like i would literally want to get on a bus at the Meadowlands, central location, drive me right into the stadium. We all go in together. We watch the game. The minute the game ends, we get out. We get on that bus. We leave. Yeah, like, totally. I would not want to like, like when. Yeah, Trump there's nothing died, worse than staying overnight game. at the Marriott. Like, I don't know if they stay overnight at the Marriott, but yeah, I would not want to stay overnight at the Marriott. 100. percent Get me down 95 and get me the fuck back to, me, back yeah, to my like, house. I covered Army Navy game in Philly when Trump was there. Like this, the convoy. Like, let's that go in. Wild. Let's get out. Yeah, one hundred percent, and 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 it's it's going to be, it's going to be insane down there. I, I think people have this anxiety. I think they have this fever pitch. Uh, there's like this this hack where um, our our Philadelphia lacrosse team. So so the wow. um, so the lots don't open till one, okay. but our Philadelphia Wings lacrosse team was supposed to play at seven. They obviously bumped their game up to one. So those lots, if you buy a ticket and you pay for parking, which is the same amount as you'll pay for parking for the Eagles, you can get in the lots at eight in the morning now and just stay there the whole day instead of getting at the lots at one so they can curb the drinking, they can curb the blackout. So if you buy a ticket to the wings and you pay for parking, you can get at the lots at at eight in the morning and just tailgate for the next 12 hours. That makes like no, like (laughs) it's awesome.